Right. Well, based on based on experience in other um, aircraft leasing hubs in the in the globe, uh, this industry tend to attract uh, and need uh, more high skilled uh, workforce, uh, really to cater for the needs. Uh, therefore, I think in the long run, we would expect um, there will be a lot of training opportunities and also therefore development of a high skilled workforce uh, in order to really service this industry. Given that Hong Kong is actually part of China, uh, I strongly believe that you know, um, the airline leasing industry is going to uh, grow in Hong Kong. Aircraft leasing industry is, uh, is kind of like a, a very international business. Uh, all the leasing centers actually complement with each other. Um, I think the, the, um, it will be just help each leasing center because the pie is actually bigger going, going forward. Um, we're now talking about globalizations. People, they have investments in Hong Kong or in China. They also have investments in other places. So we need more aircraft for, to facilitate the traveling in our China, in our Hong Kong. So that's why this is the major drive uh, of the aviation sectors. I think right now the major hurdles for Hong Kong becoming a very successful aviation hub will be, probably will be the tax regime. Honestly, because uh, comparing with other jurisdictions or countries, basically, um, uh, they can offer more tax incentives and more favorable tax treatments for those people that are investing into the aviation industry sectors. So we believe that um, in order to make it successful, um, definitely we need to take, you know, take a look at the existing regulations and also the practice to see whether there's any further amendments uh, available to ensure that uh, we are competitive enough.